Hello everybody, and welcome to another Gay Let's Play Mass Effect 3. Um, it's getting kind of late for me tonight, and um, but I haven't played in, in quite a while, so I thought I'd at least jump in just for a little bit and maybe do a quick session um, to at least run around the Normandy, because we just finished... Um, a big mission with Arachni, and uh, I just thought I'd go and talk to the crew and and uh, see if they have anything new to say. Um, before I get into that, though, I wanted to give another uh, shout out to Captain Green Bear, who has he's a seasoned LPer who has been helping me along the way um, with my LP. Uh, he sent me a few private messages giving me tips and suggestions on what I could do to try to improve my LPs and I greatly greatly appreciate um, all of the help that he's he's given me so far so I just wanted to give him a give him a nice shout out and I'll leave a link to his channel um, on this video so having that uh, out of the way I believe I was told that I have yet another message to Anderson. Hopefully things are going relatively okay on Earth? Maybe? Kinda? Sorta? One would hope. Alright, well let's see. Shepard, so I imagine by now you've wiped the galaxy clean of Reapers and we can all come up for air? Well, not quite. There have been a few complications. Aren't there always? Hackett filled me in on the crucible. Sounds like you've got some knots to untangle. You can say that again. I'm just glad I could take care of one of them for you. I gather you and Kaylee Sanders were close. I owe you for that one, Shepard. Kaylee and I met almost 20 years ago. Aww. We even had a run-in with Saren in his early days. She and I were... more than close. I... She misses you. I miss her. End of the world has a way of reminding you what you forgot to do. Maybe when the war's over, Kaylee and I will do something about that. I hope You'll so. see her soon. I can hope. But you've got a bigger problem right now. Like a galaxy full of scared bureaucrats. It was pretty apparent that there was something going on between those two, so I... For their sake, I hope that they'll be able to have that opportunity once we save the galaxy of these giant mass destructive insect like robot things it's part of the job it's what you hired me to do mostly you were hired to kill reapers I hope you haven't been sidetracked by all the politics nothing I can't handle what about you what's happening on earth I'll spare you the details but let's just say a lot of cities around the world have stopped checking in that bad you and I knew what we were in for, but everyone else? I don't think the shock's worn off yet. Are you safe? That changes by the hour. I caught a shuttle evac out of Vancouver, and now we're running from Foxhole to Foxhole just trying to stay alive. Mm. What about the Reapers? They're harvesting everything that moves. They're focusing on the big cities, which does give us some room to maneuver. Uh oh. You think you can hang on? Hell, we're still just trying to talk to each other. Right now, all we can do is organize the resistance at a local level. No lack of volunteers, at least. Everybody knows what's at stake. Don't worry, man. We haven't forgotten you. I don't know how we'll win this yet, but we will. Even if it kills me. Well, you already died once, and that didn't slow you down. <laughs> but let's not tempt fate. True. Keep yourself safe, Shepard. You too, sir. We'll talk again soon. Anderson out. The... Well, I'm glad that I understand is still fighting the good fight, and kind of sorry that we're not, you know, able to directly help him yet, because we're still amassing all our forces to, you know, take down this Reaper threat. But, you know, we're going to continue on and, and do what we can, so... Let's talk to Victus. I don't know if he has anything new to say. Commander, that was a skillful operation back on Sir Kesh. 
extracting the female Krogan. Thank you. I had help. Morden Solis knew what he was doing. Yes, Garrus mentioned the Doctor was on your mission through the Omega-4 relay. I'm surprised the Solarian cares about the Krogan. War is full of surprises. <laughs> Rarely the good kind. I'm just happy this one played to our advantage. Me too. Let's talk to you about after the genophage cure. The Solarian Dalatras was worried about what the Krogan will do once they're cured. How do you feel? It won't matter if we don't stop the Reapers, but I understand her doubts. The moon you found me on? That's where we made our last stand against the Krogan during the rebellions. They were that relentless. I think I already talked to him about this. I think. Um, like I said, it's been a few days, guys, since I last played, so... I think I've... Yeah, I think I've talked to him about That's all. This. Of course, Commander. Okay. And... Rex, I feel like I already talked to him, but let's talk to him again. Need something, Shepard? We already talked about this. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Uh, yeah. Something wrong? Morden. He got his tissue sample from me, all right. Oh. Let's just say scalpels were never meant to cut where he cut. Oh. Oh, gosh. I'm not even gonna... Joe, I'm not even gonna imagine... Ah, oh, ah, oh, moving right along. <laughs> Get me out of that room. Okay. I mean, I can't blame people for being afraid, but there are people who just didn't take Commander, us seriously. Cerberus is attacking civilians on Benning. We've been asked to help evacuate the planet. Oh gosh, it's Cerberus. Cerberus. See, if it wasn't for Cerberus, I'd actually have time to, you know, maybe protect the galaxy from the Reapers. If it wasn't for them, Cerberus. You know, my lab studied the Ragnite. Long distance communication with no timeline, the ability to control workers, and at close range, the Queen can even speak through dead or dying members of other species. Glad they're on our side. If we can develop instant long range communication without quantum entanglement, maybe when this war is over. It's a good idea, Sam. Just probably not the appropriate time to, to you know, pursue it yet. Maybe not just yet. All right, I want to go talk to Joker. Yes, let's go talk to Joker and his co-pilot. Don't worry, Edie. Once the Krogan are gone, we'll get rid of the smell. While this body has all factory sensors, I do not have positive or negative associations with any specific scent. Oh, well, lucky you. Convenient. All right, Joker, what you got? How's Grunt? Our little tank baby's all grown up, huh? Yeah. Apparently he'll be on his feet and killing again in no time. Well, you learn from the best, Commander. Every time he incinerates someone with a shotgun and does that little laugh, he'll think of you. Edie says it was Rachni down there? Yeah. I thought they were on our side after you saved the Queen on Novaria. It wasn't her fault. She got captured. She's with us now. Until the next time the Reapers sing a sour yellow note of whatever. <laughs> Commander? Uh, wait a minute. I'm st oh, I'm stuck again. What what is this? This is the second time this has happened, guys. I'm talking to Joker and I get stuck. What the heck? I might as well talk to Edie. Shepard, I had a question about human behavior. Why is it you never have questions about Asari behavior or Turian behavior? I tried asking Liara questions about the Asari bonding process. Whoa. She said I do not guard the secrets of the Normandy's crew carefully enough for her to entrust me with such private information. The Asari word she used translates as blabbermouth. I think she has become a more private person since becoming the Shadow Broker. Yeah, tell me about it. Oh, Edie. Edie, Edie, Edie. 
right, I'm gonna save. And then maybe if I load my save, I will actually be able to move. This is the Reapers. I bet you this is the Reapers. They're doing this. They added Shepherd flypaper or something. That must be what this is. That is going to be the downfall. Not guns, not bombs, not Krogan. Shepherd flypaper. Okay. Can I move now? No, I still can't move. Oh gosh, guys. This is... Okay guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, I ended up just replaying those last few minutes again. Um, and um, I, don't, I, I don't know, guys. Maybe... I think I'm going to have to start saving, as silly as it sounds, saving every time I'm just about to go talk to Joker, because I don't, I have no idea what that, that Shepard flypaper bug is all about, so hopefully that's the last time that's going to happen, but it's really weird that it does that. Anyway, let us make... Cerberus is attacking civilians on Benning. We've been asked to help evacuate the planet. Oh, that's right. Thank you for informing of that, trainer. I didn't talk to her before, you know, so... my lab studied the Ragnar. You already heard her say Long that. Long-distance communication with no timeline, the ability to control workers, and at close range, the Queen can even speak through dead or dying members of other species. Glad they're on our side. Yes. If we can develop instant long-range... Sorry, Sam. Kinda heard you say that already. So, let's feed my fish. And, um... I think I've gotten a few new stuff for my armor, but I don't know if there's anything in particular. Oh, there's, I think there's a, a new visor. Huh. I kinda like... See this, the Cyclops, as cool as the Cyclops look is, I kind of like this too, because it's, you know, it doesn't, um, it only covers a little bit amount of, of Shepard's face, and I kind of do want to be able to, you know, see most of Shepard's face, so let's keep, let's, let's stick with that for now. And then chest is the same as before. How about these? No, I, I kind of like I kind of like those arms. Yeah, I still like that seven arms. And then the legs. Mm. Yeah, I still like those. Okay. I might change the color of my armor at some point, but so far. So far, I think it suits Clive pretty well. Alright, let's see what else we got. Making arounds. Let's go down to the crew deck. See what we can get from our crew members. Uh, let's go to Liara. I'm sure she has a lot to say about the Rachni. Have we found any new engineers for the Crucible Glyph? Five Exonax Industries scientists who attempted to reverse engineer Prothean technology stolen from planet Garvuk. They are technically still wanted by the Council for hiding Prothean technology. As well, Sonax's part in instigating an illegal war on Garvuk. I'm sure the Council will forgive that for helping with the Crucible. Extend those scientists amnesty and an invitation. Right away. I haven't really been getting any more upgrades. I'm not really sure what I need to do to get more, but I don't know, we'll see. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. Sure. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but... It would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. 
I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Yeah, it's true. The Asari do la do uh they're like elves. They live quite a long time. Only a hundred and nine, huh? I know. It must seem strange to complain about a thousand year lifespan. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. She does have a point. Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. Well... I, uh... I feel... I feel so... <laughs> I, I can't help but be humbled by all this, guys, because it's every every single person in your squad seems to admire Shepard so much, and and as they should, rightfully so, I think. Um, and at the same time, it puts a lot of pressure on him or her too to to live up to this image that all these people um, think he or she. Um, is or or has within him or her, so um, you know I can't help feel a little, a little um, I don't know, uh, yeah I I can't help but feel a little humbled about about all that. I think of the people I care about. That helps keep me going. I'm glad I'm among them. I hope. Of course you are. Yeah. I feel better already. Thank you for coming by, Shepard. Why don't we talk later? Warp unlocked available in medbay. More broker email. Email from Dr. Locke to Admiral Hackett. Security almost opened fire on the Rachni when their ships pulled up to the Crucible, Admiral. I had to invoke your name more than once before they were let on board. They're following instructions, but my god, do I have to tell you how nervous everyone on the project is to see Rachni strutting down the halls? They almost gave Professor Lau a fit. I'll let you know how our next staff meeting goes. Dr. Locke. Audio log. Grunt addresses new Aralok company recruits. Recruit. Still don't understand why they put a tank-grown freak in charge of the whole company. Grunt. Ha ha ha. I don't understand why they gave me whining piejacks for soldiers. Recruit. I have more years on the battlefield than you have kills, Runt. Grunt. Trying to mate with Salarian females doesn't count as fighting. Recruit. No one talks to... Grunt. Someone help him up. We move in an hour. <sighs> oh, Krogans. At your service. Krogans, Krogans, Krogans. Alright. Garrus, Garrus. What is up, man? Um, where did you go, Garrus? Uh, Garrus? Hello? I hope the... Huh. I wonder where he went. I kind of do like that in Mass Effect three, like, in, um, in that the characters are not necessarily always in the exact same spot all the time. They actually, you know, move around a bit, which makes it a little bit more realistic, I think. And then makes you wonder, where exactly did they go? Garrus, I, I bet you Garrus is probably in the john somewhere. You know what? Maybe I should, just to make sure he didn't, you know, fall in or something. Garrus, are you in here? Are you in here? Okay, okay. Alright, he wasn't in there. He wasn't in the john. If that's the case, I have no idea where he is then. Morden! No. Shepard, Eve ready for travel to Tuchanka. Oh, good. Um, I think I already talked to him about all of this. I don't remember the shroud, though. What can you tell me about the shroud? 
climate regulator. Counteracts radiation damage to Tuchanka's atmosphere from nuclear war. Particles emitted from main tower form layer that mitigates ultraviolet bombardment, prevents atmospheric escape of necessary elements. And your people put it up? Yes, when uplift process began. Demonstration of goodwill to Krogan, stabilize climate, impress population. Combined with technological gifts, easy to gain Krogan support against Rachni. Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted also explains her weakness. Gland substitution imperfect. Yes. Health trouble. Nice talking with you, Warden. We'll be here if you need me. Continuing to study Shroud in meantime. Hey Eve, how are you? Uh, how are you holding out here in the uh, on the Normandy? Hope things are. Hope we've been keeping you uh, comfortable. You know. Something else, Commander? I guess not. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. Hmm. Sorry, guys. I guess the crew members aren't as talkative as as they can be. Okay. Reset all these people's powers. And reassign power bonus. Warp ammo. Blast vulnerable opponents already lifted by biotics for damage bonus and weaken the armor of grounded targets. More damage to barriers and armors. Okay, I think... Okay, I feel like if I purchase these, they'll be added... I want to say into the, the bonus powers in Liara's? I'm gonna, I'm gonna play with that out off of camera just to make sure I understand how all that works. I don't want to necessarily waste my credits on something you know, unintentionally. I don't think that's considered cheating, guys. I don't think it is. Engineering. Gabby and Ken. Nothing to report. Shepard. Oh, I kind of wish that Ken and Gabby were a little more talkative in in this game. I mean, they were so entertaining in Mass Effect 2, and you know, come on, guys, you weren't this focused on your job. You weren't this focused on your work. You know, back in ME2. Let's. Can we can we can we play poker again? I, I I promise I won't take all your money. Well, all the time. This time. I guess not. And I don't know where Engineer Adams went. Wait a minute. Garrus is missing. Engineer Adams is missing. Hmm. I wonder what they could be doing. Hmm. I'm just, you know, just, 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 just speculating, you know, I'm just, I'm just, this is just a mystery that, uh, might never be solved. Hey, Yavik, what's going on? Commander, I did not expect to face the Rachni in this cycle. But I am not surprised. You said you used them as weapons? Biological proxies. It was before I was born, but every Prothean had heard the stories. When we knew of them, the Rachni spent their lives singing thoughts to each other. But our scientists were more interested in their biology. The Rachni were well suited to harsh conditions. So we bred them for violence, selecting the most cunning and warlike of the queens. Then we unleashed them upon our enemies. For a time, it worked, until they became too cunning and warlike and turned on us. We put them down before they could develop any further. We thought they had been exterminated. Yet it seems our experiment evolved into this cycle's nemesis. Hmm. One thing that, that I've been wondering about, Yavik has been mentioning that um, Turians and Asari and humans and Salarians and all those other races apparently were around during his cycle, um, during his people's cycle. And I'm wondering how long 
you know, are all races, do all races appear in every single cycle? Every single time the, ra the, cre the creepers, the reapers, you know, destroy the galaxy and everything starts anew, does it just so happen that the same races spring up from the primordial goo each time? And if so, or, or maybe some of the races skip a cycle, like skip a generation, if, you know, if, if that makes sense. Um, I guess not every race does, because the Protheans didn't really, as far as we know, come back during this cycle. But, you know, just one of those questions that I've, that I've, I've been wondering ever since. So, Arachnoid, that must get your mouth watering. Can't do a story. That's as classified as it gets. I suppose it would cause a panic, but wouldn't the news drive up recruiting? It might also piss off a Krogan with diplomatic immunity. No thanks. Well, at least Diane, Diana Allers is trying to be smart about her, her reporting. You know, I'm, I'm going to have to respect her for that. She doesn't just, you know, do a story simply because it's juicy and makes her look good. You know, she's very... She's trying to think about things strategically for the war, and I, and I respect that of her. Commander. But she's not as talkative, talkative as I thought she would be. For a reporter, she's not that talkative. I mean, come on, you would think. All right. Steve Cortez, James, you guys are my only hope. Steven. Hey, Steve. Sir. Oh, Steve, no. Not you too, Steve. Sir. Oh, oh. I'm so heartbroken. Steve, why does nobody want to talk to me? James, are you going to ignore me too? I hear we're headed to Tachanka. Would love to see how things turn out. I'm just saying. Alright, alright, you guys. Well... At least my dog still loves me. Hey there. Isn't that right, doggy? Oh yeah, she still loves me. All right, guys. I apologize if this was a particularly boring session. I was hoping it'd be a little more interesting, running around. But um, you know, next session we'll actually get into more action, and um, I'm thinking I'll probably do a few more side quests again. But we'll see. So. It's getting late and I'm starting to get really tired, so until next time guys, love yourselves and love each other.